So they were back there with it for like 10 minutes, like literally 10 freaking minutes. And he comes back and he's like, yeah, dude, I got good news and bad news. He's like, good news is, yeah, it does everything powers on. Bad news is, it's your graphics card. You're gonna have to get a new graphics card. Corsair's Hydrox series custom water cooling suite is fitted with everything you need to build something like this. Start with the configurator, plan your loop, and choose from stylish water blocks to clean fittings, copper rads to durable coolants. You know what? Actually, can we cut back to no, not that one. Yeah, this one. Yes, yes. Let's just uh, let's all stare at this for a second. Wow. I've got one of these kits on hand, and I cannot wait to build with it. You can find it all from Corsair via the link below. This might look like an ordinary gaming PC, and that's because it is. There's nothing wrong with it. We use it every day. In fact, this is the machine that my brother uses quite a bit. So, what we're going to do is take this to Best Buy, more particularly the Geek Squad, and uh, have them diagnose it. Now, if there's nothing wrong with it, what are they going to diagnose? We're going to do a little something to this to make it not work anymore. And the point of this is to see if they have the knowledge and the skill set to be able to properly troubleshoot a build like this. Now we're not going to do anything super crazy to it. All I'm going to do is unplug a single cable. Now it would be super obvious to unplug something on this side. In fact, they'd probably think it was a joke and like we were trying to mess with them. I want to give you guys an informed decision about whether or not you should fix this yourself, send it to somebody else. Maybe you just don't have a time of day to, to troubleshoot your own PC, so you're considering bringing it into somebody. Who should you bring it into? That's what this video will seek to answer. Is Geek Squad a viable option for you, especially when the problem has a super simple solution? So what we're going to do is not unplug anything on this side, because again, that's too obvious. I'm gonna swing it around here. I know you're not gonna be able to see this. I'll give you a second shot here in a second. I'm going to unplug a single cable that connects on the power supply side to the PCI supplemental power on the graphics card. Now I do have to turn the power supply over to effectively do this because the VGA power cables on the power supply are sitting right in front of the right side panel. So we want it to be further tucked back. We want them to have to actually thoroughly troubleshoot this rig in order to figure out what is wrong with it. My suspicion is that they are going to assume it's the graphics card itself and not a power supply cable. Now we're gonna tuck it back in and I'm gonna show you what Geek Squad is going to see when they power on this PC. What I believe is going to happen is you will just see a black screen. The PC will turn on, but you will not get a picture on your monitor. And uh, this is going to, I suspect, lead them to assume that it's a graphics card issue. And uh, the cool thing is we'll be able to see what they say our problem is, but we'll know in the back of our heads what the actual problem is because we created it. Okay, so just to recap, this is what happens when you turn on the PC before we take it to the Geek Squad. It looks like it turns on, all the lights are lighting up, and even the fans are spinning, hard drive spinning. You see we're plugged into the monitor, but nothing, no post. In fact, yeah, Dr. Debug disappeared as well. So there's, there's literally no indication that anything is wrong at all. And the only thing we've done is unplugged the supplemental eight pin power connector on the power supply side. That's all, let's take it there and see if they can figure out what we did to it. All right guys, so I just went and picked up this PC here on Craigslist. Uh, for some reason, as you can see, I can't pick up a picture. I have no idea what's going on. So my only source right now, since I have no idea what I'm doing, is to go to Geek Squad and see if they can save me a couple dollars. <laughs> since you have no idea. <laughs> All right, so we're at our local Best Buy. Sorry about the trash audio. I'm using uh, my mobile phone here. Uh, Kyle's got the PC, and it's just been kind of sitting in his lap the whole time. I'm not worried about the air. Anyway, uh, what's your story? What, pretend I'm the Geek Squad guy. What are you going to say? All right, so I picked this bad boy up here off Craigslist. You know, I was looking for a, a decent PC, around eight, 900 bucks looking to mine some Bitcoin with it, but um, you know, I took it home after paying the dude, tried to plug it in, got no picture, got nothing, don't know what's going on. So instead of just trashing it, trying to reach out to it, I'm just gonna take it to Geek Squad, see if they can do something for it. So okay. that's where we're at. Make sure you emphasize that it powers on and everything lights up, but you got no picture to your monitor. Powers on, everything lights up, no picture. I yep. got it. Perfect. I tried reaching out to the guy on Craigslist, couldn't find him, wouldn't answer his phone. So probably knew something was wrong with it, but yep. you know, whatever. So here we go. All right. 
So at this point, we had to get creative because Florida wiretapping laws prevented us from straight up walking in there and filming in secrecy. This is a two-party consent state after all, and we're on private property. This isn't like a public park or something like that. So to illustrate what went on inside Best Buy between Kyle and the Geek Squad rep, I put together a discount animation. Next time, we'll make sure to do this in a state where one-party consent exists. Anyway, here we go. What's up, man? So I just picked it up on Craigslist. I plugged it in. There's sound. The light comes on, but no picture. I don't know what's wrong. Did you plug your monitor into your card here? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I even watched YouTube videos to make sure I was connecting everything correctly, but still no picture. Okay, let me see uh, if I can take it in the back here and see what I can find. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Ah. Oh. The good news is the rest of your computer works fine. Bad news is it's a bad graphics card. I took out the graphics card and plugged it up with onboard and it's running just fine. So how much would it be to replace a graphics card? Well, do you know where you got it from? Nah, I just reached out to him on Craigslist and of course he won't return my calls anymore. That MSI card may still be under warranty. There's a serial number you can reference and uh, they may replace the card if it's relatively new, but uh, this one here isn't working anymore. Well, I'm going to make a tag for this. There's no charge. It just helps me keep track of work I've done on my end. By the way, are you related to Greg? Uh, nah, I get asked that a lot. Apparently he's some YouTuber or something. Ah, uh, okay. Well, look, man, you're free to go. Honestly, your best bet is to try and contact MSI and see if they can army that card with the serial number. And that, in a nutshell, is what happened. We really wish we could have filmed inside, but uh, we don't want to be sued twice. That went so south. First off, I had to give him a phone number, so I gave him mine. And then the first thing he asked me is, are you related to Greg Salazar? It's like, crap. I was like, no, man. I was like, a lot of people always ask me that. And he was like, oh yeah, man, I went to school with them. I was like, apparently he's some like YouTuber or something. So they were back there with it for like 10 minutes, like literally 10 freaking minutes. And he comes back and he's like, yeah, dude, I got good news and bad news. Like, good news is, yeah, it does everything powers on. Bad news is, it's your graphics card. You're gonna have to get a new graphics card. So they didn't even, I guess, try to take anything out or take the back piece off. They just tried to plug it in, plug it in the monitor, and then called it a day. Really? Yeah. Did they try to charge you? No, he, he when they took it back and looked at it, he was like, it wasn't, it is free to just look at it, so. Okay, well, at least they didn't charge you for it. Yeah, thankfully, because I could have done that, told him it didn't work. So to recap then, this is what Best Buy essentially told Kyle. They said that the rest of the computer was good. The rest of the computer worked. They know that because they plugged the HDMI cable into the motherboard's HDMI out, which means they're running off of integrated graphics and the system posted fine. The graphics card on the other hand was not outputting a signal and they very quickly diagnosed the issue as a dead card. It wasn't a dead graphics card. It was a perfectly fine card. In fact, it lit up, the fans even turned. You just weren't getting picture. Sometimes you can have dead cards that look like that, but a lot of the time, if it's getting power and it seems like it should be working, there's probably something very simple, just like dumb simple to, uh, to address. And in this case, it was dumb simple. It was a unplugged power cable, except it wasn't obvious for them. It wasn't unplugged on the graphics card side. It was unplugged on the power supply side. So what do I think of Geek Squad? Uh, well, just based off of this one attempt, I've never taken anything into Geek Squad before. I, I wouldn't recommend that you take anything into Geek Squad, especially if you've built your own PC, you probably know it better than they do because every PC to, it, to an extent is different, you know, maybe different cases, different, um, I mean, for the most part, they're gonna be the same, but I don't know. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't wanna outright roast Geek Squad and they didn't charge Kyle anything. That's a good, a good takeaway from this is that like, if they can't figure out what it is or if they figure out what it is and it's a very simple, you know, diagnosis, then they probably won't charge you. At least they didn't for Kyle. And that's that's nice. I would have been pretty upset if they had charged us 50 bucks or 100 bucks to just tell us that our graphics card is dead and that we needed to buy another one for 400 bucks. That wouldn't have been pretty. But ultimately this comes back to attention to detail and DIY. If you are more familiar with your PC than someone else's, chances are you can diagnose it better than they can. And if they're seeing a dozen or so PCs a day and they're used to simple solutions, they're probably not gonna look for things that aren't just blatantly obvious to them, which is why I chose to unplug the PCIe cable on the power supply side because it was tucked way underneath the basement. You would have had to have removed the power supply or pulled it out to notice that the cable was detached. That's all they had to do, but they didn't do it because either they wanted to rush and, and move on to somebody else uh, or they just, they, they didn't know how to thoroughly troubleshoot. The more you know, the better off you'll be. And that's why we make videos like these on this channel 
why other tech tubers make videos like these. It's because we are trying to help you guys, first off, make informed purchase decisions, but also we're trying to save you money, okay? And and, and if it's a simple issue and you, you've you just taken two or three minutes to troubleshoot, you probably would have noticed that um, it was a simple solution. Not always the case. I mean, the, the graphics card could have been dead. And if it was dead, then they would have diagnosed it correctly. But in this case, it wasn't. So again, I just keep coming back to the idea that like they're they're telling him to buy a new card. Like when you when you tell him it's a dead graphics card, that's like that's not an easy purchase for a lot of people to swallow. That's two three hundred bucks typically, if not more. If we had thrown a twenty eighty Ti in there, he just told us to buy another twelve hundred dollar graphics card. That's an entire system in and of itself. Um, so I, I don't know. I will say kudos to Kyle. Kyle did a great job. That's my younger brother, for those who don't know. He also filmed all of our footage at Computex this year. Uh, so big thanks to him. You guys can check out his channel. I linked it down below if you're interested. He just has vlogs and stuff like that. So if you want to know what goes on behind the scenes with him, someone related to me, you can check that out. You can also check out our second channel, uh, which is where I just kind of sit in front of the camera and talk about day-to-day -day life, my personal stuff. If you guys want to know more about me, then uh, you can watch that channel. It's very small, uh, but it is uh, fun. It's fun to just sit in front of the camera and ramble for a few minutes. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two of this. I didn't mention this before, but we're going to take that PC that Geek Squad misdiagnosed to a small mom and pop shop uh, that specializes in computer repair, cell phone repair, things of that sort. We're gonna see if they can figure out what is wrong with the system. It's gonna be the exact same issues before. Kyle's gonna to stick to the same story. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching everyone. Give a thumbs up if you thought it was cool. Click that red subscribe button, you know what to do. All the good stuff. I will catch you in the next one. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.